when the Gen 2 Raptor came out, about the only thing that wasn't well received with that truck was the exhaust note. The Gen 1 Raptor had a V8, the Gen 2 Raptor was the first time they put a V6 in, and the exhaust note was just kind of underwhelming. It was pretty much unanimous that the stock exhaust note wasn't that great. So when it came to the Gen 3 Raptor, which I have behind me, and that's the truck we're talking about now, they obviously took it really seriously and they took a great challenge and they really stepped their game up with the stock exhaust on the Gen 3 Raptor. So before we get to the Borla exhaust on this truck, I wanted to show you some of the cool features about the stock exhaust. And this is the inlet side here. What happens north of here is that famous trombone loop, which we're gonna get to in a minute. And that's what makes this equal length is that trombone loop. So here's the inlet side. This clamp is here because it's welded. This clamp was not welded, so we were reusing this clamp on the Borla exhaust system. This is the inlet into this giant muffler that they have here. And what you'll see on the outlet side of this muffler are three pipes. So you have two pipes going in and three pipes coming out. And what you see right here, these two things here are exhaust valves. On the steering wheel of this truck is a button that lets you control the exhaust modes. I believe there are four different positions. When you are in the closed position, the way they make it so quiet is that everything's running through this little tube right here. Um, when it's wide open, obviously, most of the exhaust gases and the uh, exhaust frequencies are going through these larger tubes here. And that's how they get that delta between the quiet position and the loud position. Um, what happens over here is this super cool X-pipe that they patented and it has three inlets and two outlets on it. So all three of these pipes are going into this crossover pipe and exiting via two pipes. After here, you have over axle pipes and tailpipes uh, or tailpipe tips. The over axle pipes are heat shielded. So all of these cool features of the stock exhaust are a really important part of the driving experience with this truck. And when we went to develop the Borla exhaust system, we knew that we had to retain all of this functionality. But one of the things we noticed about the exhaust note was that it sounds a lot like a sports car and it's a great sounding exhaust note, but we're not so sure it fits the truck. We wanted to come out with something that sounded a little bit more like a truck, a little bit stronger, a little bit musclier, a little bit more truck-like. So now that I've shown you all this stuff from the stock exhaust system, Let's get underneath the truck and talk a little bit about what Borla did to make it different. We're underneath the truck now, and I want to start with the stock exhaust. Uh, here is the catalytic converter from the driver's side, and the exhaust bank on this side crosses over to the passenger side. Here is the catalytic converter from the passenger side, and the Ford engineers wanted to make this an equal length exhaust. So since this pipe is longer, they had to equal the length with the passenger side by creating this trombone loop. So that's why this trombone loop is here. There's good reason for this to be an equal length exhaust. One of the first things we did was get rid of the trombone loop and just put straight pipes here to see what it sounds like. And we discovered right away that this trombone loop adds a lot. So the next thing we did was we started playing around with different lengths. And what we discovered was actually that equal length didn't really matter that much. It doesn't have to be exactly equal length. We thought that maybe if we tried some asymmetrical designs, we'd get a different note. And it really didn't really change very much, if anything at all. So we left this front pipe here. And this is the clamp that we uh, reused from the stock. So this is the stock clamp that we reused. And here's your Borla clamp. As you move further downstream, you're going to see the first set of polyphonics. Uh, this is a patented design. If you want to learn more about our polyphonics technology, we have a video that goes pretty in depth about our polyphonics technology. Um, we do have another set of polyphonics, which I'm going to get to later. So this is the first set of polyphonics. Going into the inlet of the muffler, you can see it's a much smaller muffler. The Borla muffler is a lot smaller. Now, you remember on the stock exhaust, on the outlet side of the muffler, you had three outlets. Um, Borla, what we did here was we have four outlets. So we have two quiet paths, 
and obviously the loud path. I was talking earlier about how important it is to retain the functionality, the active functionality of this exhaust. So we have our Borla valves here. Uh, when these valves are closed, everything's running through this quiet path. Unlike the stock exhaust, again, we have two pipes here, but the functionality works really well. By now, you might be wondering where the Borla crossover pipe is. We didn't have one in front. We don't have one here. And the answer is we didn't add a crossover pipe to this system intentionally because we found that that crossover pipe really makes it sound like a sports car. As cool as that X-pipe design is, um, and it really is cool, getting rid of it did a lot and brought a lot back to this truck and made it sound like a truck. So we have our own patented crossover design called Switchfire. Uh, we elected not to use it. Just seemed like whatever kind of crossover pipe we put really made it sound very smooth and very sports car-like. So we do not have a crossover pipe in our system. As you move further back here, this is the second set of polyphonics technology. Again, different lengths and diameters inside of there based on organ pipe formulas to create harmony, very much like a power chord on a guitar. Uh, as you move further here, you'll see these clamps right up here. And at this point here, if you want to keep the stock tailpipes and the stock tailpipe tips, you can attach our system to the stock system and you're done. If you wanna have a little bit of a different look, if you wanna complete boreless system all the way out the back, we offer our own over axle pipes. You can see they're heat shielded. This is a prototype. The actual production system heat shields will be much more robust and, and look a little bit different. And we made sure that our system works with the large spare tire. So if you opted for the larger spare tire, no worries about the functionality of the boreless system working with the spare tire. So we're at the rear of the vehicle now. What you see here is the over axle pipe on the driver's side going into this beautiful carbon fiber tip. Obviously we have the same thing on the passenger side. And we also offer a black chrome tip option. So you can either have carbon fiber or black chrome. Both of them really change the look of the vehicle from the rear give it a real aftermarket look. But what we really want you guys to hear is how it sounds. And so we're gonna go do that now, but before we do, you may be wondering why we're only offering one sound level for this vehicle or one exhaust system for this vehicle when we normally offer at least two or three different sound levels. And the reason for that is because the functionality of the stock exhaust allowed us to have four different exhaust notes in one exhaust system. So. When it's wide open, the loudest position is definitely an attack sound. The middle positions give you that S-type sound, and when it's closed, it sounds like a Borla Touring exhaust. So you really are getting Touring, S-type, and attack all in one exhaust system, and I can't wait for you guys to hear it, so let's go do that now. <laughs> 